Hello friends, I want to welcome you today to my video. I'm Karina Chen and this is my business Facebook page, KarinaStamps.com. And we've been having a lot of fun over in the Karina's Creations group. Um, I've just loaded up a whole bunch of buy one, get one free items in there. And then last night I sold off a whole bunch of product in my on a Zoom session. So I've got lots of stuff left over. So if you're interested in buying any retired items, you can go to, um, it's actually Karina's Creations. It has a space in between the two words and you can check out the Facebook group. Anyone can join if you want to comment. I think I have to approve you. So as soon as I'm done this, I'll jump over there and see if there's any items that you wanted to get. So this is an event that I hold annually. It's my big new caddy kickoff buy one get one free sale. And how it works is that whenever you buy a gently used product, you can order new product for free out of the catalog, out of the brand new catalog or the retiring catalog, but you get it for free and then you just pay the shipping and GST. So for example, some of the free items that I had for sale, um, for example, pattern play, you know, it's $22 stamp set, it's brand new, and then you would pick something, well, you would actually take this for free and then you order from either the brand new catalog that starts on May the 3rd or the retiring catalog that ends on May the 2nd. So you choose, that's kind of why I do it now so that you can double dip on either catalog. And I have, oh, I've got tons of stuff, you guys. I've got these uh, Wild Rose dies um, still available. I've got so many star stamp set, Label Me Bold stamp set. I don't even know if I put these in the Facebook page because I put all the kind of newer stuff on there. But uh, I have lots of stuff. And then if you're interested in joining in on the party, this is what you can do. You can go to my Facebook group, check out the sale items that were just posted. I also have a link to a door prize form that I'll post again so that you can enter your name into a door prize. And that's open for anybody. I'm just going to do one general door prize. If you end up ordering and you're placing large orders, this is one of the door prizes that I have. It's got a package of assorted cardstock. It's got the brand new in color designer series paper and five ink pads. So that was kind of fun. And then I also have this, so this is for customer orders. And then I have a second one that is the largest order of the day. So that's two of the door prizes. That's what they look like. And then uh, I'm trying to think what else there is. Largest order of the day. And then if anybody wants to book a private stamp night for you and your friends, I do offer fun ones, um, CNC card classes. If you want to know what that is, just ask me. And then you get 25 products for free out of my sale. So hopefully you like that. And then as well, I also have an in-color special on right now where if you, it's 175, it's the full color uh, f have the full in color kit. You get five ink pads, fiber inkers, 10 stamping blends, one package of assorted cardstock, stamp and write markers, and for free, you get one yard of ribbon. I also have a ribbon share on right now, and the ribbon, well, the ribbon share and the designer series paper share, it's $99, and that just gives you an assortment of all the new stuff. And then you get to take part in the paper party if you want. So it's $90 for the share, $99 for the whole party. So I'm running that with Candy Rattray, who's in the States. My friend Candy and I were each going to design, I think it's six projects each, because we do one project for each designer series paper, and I think there's 12. Let's see, is there 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Oh, 11? I think there's 12 for some reason. Anyway, these are the Canadian prices. The U.S. prices are totally different because we have to pay a little more in Canada, which is so sad, but that's just the way it is. Or if you just want the virtual, you just want to join us virtually at the paper party, it's $35. So I just thought I would mention that. And I think that's all my updates. So you automatically get a make and take kit if you're placing a $35 order. So some people have RSVP'd and have their kits right now and will be stamping with me. And if not, and you place your order, I'll send it in the mail as a thank you gift. And these are the two cards. What do you think of these? So this one is based on the Brood For You bundle available on May the 3rd. I just thought it was super fun. And then this one is based on Tea Boutique. 
So they're just cute little make and takes, but I do have a little bit to chat about uh, for them. And I see some people, I see Liz is watching. Hello, Liz. How are you? I'm glad you're joining me. I was supposed to be on at 11 and I apologize, but I got up five this morning to start sorting orders. And by 11, I still wasn't done. So it takes a long time to do the BOGO sale, but it's worth it. All my customers get really, really great really great stuff so that makes me happy okay so let's do uh let's do this one first i think we should do this one first because it's super cute and it's based on my demo i did yesterday so just go to my youtube channel which is karina's creations no space between karina's and creations on youtube and you can go watch it or i think i also shared it on my karina's creations facebook group and uh, we're using the Cup of Tea stamp set and dies, so it's $62. Or you can get the whole bundle for $92.25. And that includes a designer series paper. And I just made a little set sampler. I make these for my team and I load them into our crafting crew group so that they can download them and make their own samples. I find this really helpful because when I'm designing, I can kind of figure out which cardstock colors I need that works with the paper. And this works on all the in colors, so that's super fun as well. And then these were, this was the card I showed yesterday for my demo. And you know, quick, super fast little, I need an emergency gift for my friend because I didn't stamp it in time. It just made out of an envelope, like how easy is that? This one actually holds a gift card. The gift card gets glued here. And I had an indigo one yesterday. I hope it's not on the floor because it actually had money on it. I'll have to track that down. Or you could put a tea bag here as well. All right, the tea bag does fit here. But I thought this would be perfect for teacher gifts, um, you know, year end, well, even book club if you're in a book club, you know, that kind of thing. Thought that'd be fun. You could put some flat chocolates in here. And then these were the other two cards that I showed. So this was my video last Tuesday, the braided card technique. I have a free tutorial that you can download for free on my Karina Stamps blog. So you can get that. You have to hit the shop with me now. And then I have shop for tutorials. So click on that and then it's a free tutorial you can download. And then also with T Boutique, um, the bundle, the big bundle for $92 includes cards and envelopes. I like, aren't these just cute card bases? I like stuff like this because I don't, I'm not wasting my designer series paper and the card base is done for me. So I think that's super fun. And just to show you, I used this with the Sweet Songbird uh, stamp set because I think he's so cute. You know, and then he's got a matching envelope, right? So you can just mail it to your friend. You can either use the green or the red. I think I like the green better. I don't know, super cute. And so the bundle includes the paper, the note cards and envelopes, and then your stamps and dies. Okay, so let's start stamping. So I always, for my kits, I have something that doesn't have a lot of stamping on it because I know not everybody has the same products I do. And I think I need to grab my grid paper. Now, I think I'm going to treat myself to some new grid paper. That'd probably be a really good idea. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to open your kit. And my paper has a lot of yellow in it, uh, which is crushed curry. So I think I'm going to, I could choose the color. You know what? Maybe I'll change mine up. You know I like to change things. So I think... Um, if you've got a lot of yellow in your kit, I would use crushed curry for the flowers. I think I'm going to use fresh freesia. Now it doesn't say it matches, but that's what it kind of looks like to me. If I go back to my color chart, yeah, it doesn't say that, but I think it also has petal pink and fresh freesia in it. What do you think? I think so. Okay, let's move this out of the way. We'll get our kit, and I know a lot of you will be watching the replay, so just leave a comment when you watch the replay and let me know what you think of this, because I think it's super fun. Okay, so we need to get the flowers. Wait a second, where are my flowers? Oh yeah, they're right here. Haha. -ha. 
I used a pink ink, so now my photo polymer stamp is pink. Oh, that's too funny. This is what happens when you get up at five in the morning to sort orders. Things are staring you in the face and you just cannot see them. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my card base because I want it to be nice and flat. Move this out of the way. I seem to have better success when I do my stamping when my cardstock is flat. This block is a little bigger than I wanted. So let's just start randomly stamping. And I like to rotate my stamp when I am creating a background like so. And it just kind of, I don't know. Don't you think it looks better than just all the same direction? And we'll just quickly do this, creating a fun little background. This is the same stamp that I put on my envelope the other day. Uh, I think we'll put one here. Now, because I'm getting close to this edge, I'm just gonna put a piece of paper down. Now, one thing in the annual catalog that you may want to get, um, Stampin' Up! is now selling masking paper. So I'm going to be showing some masking techniques when I get my hand on these new products. But then I don't have to use post-it notes all the time. So I think that'll be really fun. Okay, I think I'm almost done. This is looking a little empty right here. This is also a great way to create your own designer series paper. I need one more here. And I think I'm good. I'm happy with this. Don't you think? Isn't this pretty? Okay, so I did mine in Fresh Freesia. You can do yours in Crush Curry. Just depends which part of the designer series paper that you got. So I'll clean that up. Then I'm going to grab the rest of my kit. So I have already pre-cut this. And in the dies, you get um, a couple tea, a little couple teacup images that look like this. You get some large hearts, you get some little baby mini hearts. See how cute these are? So shake your kit, because I gave everybody an envelope. I guess I don't need this now. Let's move this out of the way, because it looks so messy. Doesn't it look messy? See the little heart? Oh, there it is, it's in the envelope. So you guys have a regular envelope. I just have a clear one, and then I know that this is my kit. And then I have a little tea bag already die cut out. So you get a tea bag, you get a lemon, um, you get this little piece that cuts out. I was going to say the grass. It almost looks like, what are these, alfalfa sprouts or something? I don't know. That's what I think it is. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are just going to, oh, oh, this is stamped bigger than this one. So maybe I'll just change the sentiment. And because I've cut a bunch of different kits, I really don't know which size I gave you. I have no clue. You might have a bigger one. You might have a smaller one. Bigger ones are usually easy because then you can just pick the sentiment that you want. And it fits more things. Okay, so that's step number one. And then let's glue this down here. Then you can tell me whether you like the yellow one better, Crush Curry, or the Fresh Freesia card. And I've got a PDF tutorial done up with uh, for this. So if you just want to stamp along with me, I'll be um, putting the tutorial maybe on my blog if I can figure out how to do that, but for sure in the Facebook group. Okay, now this is my other tip of things that you want to buy from the new catalog. I highly recommend that you pick these up. These are the Stitched Stylish Shapes dies. And they come in circles, squares, and pennant shapes. I think these will probably be sold out fast. Now, there's no guarantee, right? It could be wrong. That's just my prediction. Okay, I've already die cut out a teacup from Soft Sea Foam. And I think I need to attach my little tea bag. Now, this is a lot of ribbon. I probably don't need that much ribbon. Let's cut that in half. And I'm just going to lay my baker's twine onto my tea bag, and then I'm going to secure it with a stamp and dimensional. And let's see if I've got any on my table. I put everything away last night while I was doing my Zoom session for my sale. It got quite messy in here, but I think everybody had fun. At least I hope so. 
Okay, I'll peel this off and I'm just going to put it right about here. There's my sample. I think I'm still in the window. Hello, Kim. How are you? You like yellow better? Yeah, tough call. Wait till it's all done. We'll see. We'll see. And then we'll just cut this a little bit. It's a little too long, I think. And I'm just going to wrap this down. So I don't want to put it really tight. I'm just going to put it, you know, so it's kind of loose. And then we'll just smoosh that down with another dimensional. Not smoosh it down. Let's secure it with another dimensional. Okay, and then we'll put that right here in the middle-ish. Okay, middle-ish a little bit down lower. Well, maybe we should have another dimensional on there. I'm like, it's wobbly. Why is my teacup wobbly? That shouldn't be happening. Okay, that's better. Okay, now let's put this little baby heart on my tea bag because I think that's super cute. I love these little accent pieces. So adorable. Okay, and then we'll go like that. Okay, so that's how it's looking. See, this is a really fast card. You know what, Kim? I think I do like the yellow better. I don't know. The purple is a lot. But sometimes you got to make your card a few times and try different combinations to see which one you like the best. And the person, when I give this to them, they won't know that there's a yellow card. So they'll go, oh my gosh, that little purple one is so pretty. Right? At least that's my strategy. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on there. And now for the sentiment, I was going to say let's get together soon. But because I have a bigger label, I think I'm going to change it to thank you. Let's just do thank you on here. And then we'll put this on here. Okay. And we'll just stamp it here. Now, like I said, I know a lot of you today will be watching the replay. So hopefully you will enjoy the cards that we're making. Because tomorrow I'm driving. I was going to do a Facebook Live, but I'm going to be driving to Calgary to get my new puppy. So I'm so excited about this new little guy. I think he'll be super cute. I'm getting a mini schnauzer. We don't have a name for him yet. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I haven't been a puppy mom for a long time. I just puppy sit all the time. Okay, now looking at this, you know what? The bigger sentiment's not too bad. So that's what I have for my two cards. So purple or yellow, I think I like crushed curry. Yeah, it's exciting, Kim. Hey, do you have a puppy too, Kim? I've never even asked you if you have a puppy or not. So my brother and my sister-in-law don't have kids, but they have puppies. So I get to babysit Monty and Benji all the time. Monty's a mini schnauzer and Benji is a shih tzu. So I got a text from my sister-in-law asking when her new puppy nephew's coming. So I let her know the good news will be tomorrow for the new little guy. So we'll see. I haven't trained a puppy in 20 years. So we'll see how this is going to go. Uh, maybe the puppy will be making an appearance on my Facebook Live on Tuesday at 1. I'm not 100% sure though. And I mentioned to the girls last night that if I do that, I sure hope the puppy does not pee on my project. Because that would be a disaster. But you never know what can happen, right? Okay, so let's close this up. That is the first make and take. So you know what? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ha! Lemon squeezy. There you go. And then the second make and take, this one took forever for me to make for you guys because I wanted a card that was interesting, a little bit of a fancy fold, but super easy in case people, there were non-stampers. So I didn't make it too hard. And it had to be something that with die cut pieces. So this was so challenging. So what I decided on was the Brood For You stamp set. And it has coordinating dies. And I thought you can use this either for Father's Day or for a masculine birthday. And I think it is $62. Now, I used my... <laughs> I have to laugh. Um, my notes got mixed up because I used it as a mask for my last card. So it'll appear later. Oh, here it is. Okay, it is $62. No, it's not. That's not it. Okay, $62 for sure. 
um, for these two stamps and dies. I like these little pieces. They do all the bubbles. Isn't that a fun little accent? And then the paper coordinates with the He's All That stamp set. Now, I think it's 94.25 is what I'm guessing for the, for the stamp sets for the beautiful designer series paper that looks like this. And then the dots. And I'm going to show you the paper. So who's a scrapbooker? You're going to want to pick this up. So it's got all these fun die cut pieces that you can put on cards and use for die cutting, or sorry, scrapbooking. You get two sheets of all of these elements. And then look at the paper, it's so pretty. Great, we can, have, we can scrapbook our camping photos. We can maybe do, this could be a grad, a birthday, kind of looks like congratulations. Or if you don't like that, you just flip it. It also has this fun car pattern. You know, antique cars. So that's super nice. I also love this paper pattern. And then I have two sheets of this one. But it's got lots of possibilities. And then this is a card I made the other day on my Facebook Live, right? Another braided card technique with this, uh, with this bundle. And these metallic dots also come in the suite. So you get the metallic dots, the paper, and then the bundle. Or you can just order the bundle if you want, right? Because the sentiments are really nice. Hello, handsome. Happy birthday to a classic. Together for the long haul for anniversary. I like this one. To the man who does everything. Holy smokes, you're amazing. Like, isn't that cute? So I actually embossed this one. I don't know if you can see it shiny. But uh, I thought the label was kind of fun. And then these little pennant pieces. Look at that. We have little pennant shapes now for scrapbooking and card making. So that was super fun. Okay, before I start, does anybody have any questions or are we good to go? Oh, hello, Brenda. How are you? And I should mention anybody who's watching the replay from last night, who wanted this? I forget. Somebody wanted it. I set it aside and the sticky note fell off because I have one left. It's $15. So if you attended the Zoom last night, uh, let me know who wants the sparkly paper. I can't remember who wanted it now. I sent shots for, um, shots of your orders to everybody so far, so hopefully I got them right. I hope. Okay, so what I've done for this card base is it's cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at two and three quarters and five and a half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be gluing our black cardstock onto this bottom section. And then that's going to allow it to open up and then it'll be a foldy outy card. Do you like that technical term? Foldy outy card. And I'm sure everybody knows what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down and depending on, you know, what uh, paper pack you got when I cut your kit, you might have a little different pattern. And all we're going to do is just attach them onto your card base like this, right? Leave a little bit of a space. This is two and a half inches uh, by three and three quarters. I had to cut three more kits yesterday, and now I think I have to cut more kits. We had a pretty good sale yesterday. So, yeah, lots of fun. But, yeah, the BOGOs are a lot of work. That's why I only tend to do them once a year. But I think I need to have a card sale BOGO. I have three giant Rubbermaid tins of cards. It's crazy how much I have. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, this is the scary part. We need to attach this to your card base, so make sure you're only putting on this bottom panel. And you can take a pencil mark if you want, but I'm just going to go blind. So, I mean, you could just put a tick mark. Maybe I'll show you how to do it. Put a tick mark here because you don't want your glue going over this line. Now, if you're nervous about this, use four stamp and dimensionals to attach it to your card base. I'm just going to go like this. I eyeball things because if, you know, if you glue it shut, well, you got it. Uh, you just use your take a pick tool and take it apart. So there's always a way to fix it. Okay, and then this one is an arrow piece that also is from the dies in this set. As I'm looking, that's the T dies. Here it is. My desk is so clean, I don't know how I can't find it. So you get an arrow piece as well. I'm not sure what these do yet. Oh, they're, 
I don't know, what do you do with that sideways pennant? Any ideas? Does it make a circle? I don't know. If anybody's played with this, let me know. Kim, have you played with this yet? If Kim's still on, let me see my comments. Um, and then I'm just going to take a dimensional, on it goes, and then we'll take another dimensional. And it's really important to pop this piece up because it is the anchor piece for your card. So what I do is pull this back and go, yeah, I want it to look like this. And then I'll just put that down, right? So that'll anchor your card so it'll sit up on someone's desk. Super easy. And then what I've done is I've used these stitch dies again on this card as well. So again, this is the Stylish Shapes dies. And I've already pre-cut out the basic white mug. And then of course, if you had the stamp set, you could actually stamp, you could just stamp the beer mug, right? I think would be really nice. And then it's got these uh, filler, yellow filler pieces to go inside the beer mug. So what I mean is you can see this die right here. These will fill in the stamped image on the mug. And it looks like a root beer mug. Does anybody go to a and I love a and And in fact, my dad goes there every single day. I don't know how he eats a, term, a teen burger every single day and is still alive. That kind of uh, boggles the mind, but that's what he does. And I went with him the other day and we had um, a root beer. He lives in Leduc, so uh, I go to the NW there a lot. In fact, they know his name. It's almost like Norm from Cheers. Makes me laugh, but yeah, he just loves his a &W. Okay, so I've got the mug together and I just need a sentiment and I think I'm gonna do this one. Uh, another round for your birthday. And I love this. Oh, ale, yes. Like, how funny is that? I love this set. And of course, there's lots of Father's Day sentiments in sets that we have. Because you can actually order from the mini catalog still. It's still current. They bring the new catalog in, which is sometimes confusing for people. Because why are they bringing the new catalog in when the other catalog is still current? mini catalog. I don't know. They change things up a little bit. But of course, that is this one. My poor beat up. Oh yeah, I lost the cover. That's how beat up this poor catalog is. It's in sad shape. Sad, sad shape. But you know, there's a wonderful Father's Day set in here as well. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing. Look at this poor thing. Um, and then I did a... Happy Hedgehog class on the weekend, uh, last weekend. It was uh, with this stamp set, super cute. This one here, super cute PDF tutorial. Uh, the card kits mailed got mailed out, so that's kind of a cute one as well. So anyway, this is still current. You can still order from there. And you can still order from the annual catalog, right? Till May the 2nd. And then it ends, so there's anything that you're wanting on that clearance, not, not the clearance rack, what do they call it? Last chance list. Get it now. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. Let's just pop all this stuff up. And two, did you hear the good news about the starter kit? Oh my gosh, the starter kit is going to be on special again, starting on May the 3rd. And you get the five free in-color ink pads plus a package of paper, and plus something else. Don't you love that, plus something else? Uh, let me see, I'm not sure if I can show the flyer yet, so I don't wanna get in trouble. Um, you get cardstock, the designer series paper assortment, and the ink pads, and in color grid paper to do your stamping on. Okay, and as I got that out, this flew away, so let's just glue this on. I'm just using I like my liquid glue, but you know, you can use the stamp and seal too or stamp and seal plus. I find half the people I know like this, half the people I know like the snail slash stamp and adhesive stuff. Okay, now this is looking a little bit naked. So do did I put these? Oh, I don't know what I did with these, you guys. I lost my 
rustic backed adhesive gems. Is that, is that what they're called? Something like that. So, oh, I think I got matte black dots on my table. Oh, look at this from another class. Now, I hope this is rolling over. I don't know. Yeah, Brenda, it, NW is the best root beer ever. And if I'm going to have a burger, I'm having a team burger because I do love their team burgers. They actually taste like something, right? Okay, so this, hopefully in your kit, I gave you the rustic back dots. I don't know where mine went. They've disappeared, so I'm just using matte black dots. But isn't that a fun card for a masculine card? I think so. Okay, and that is my demo on how to make your make and takes. So, of course, jump over into the Karina's Creations page if you want to do any shopping or see what's on sale. If anybody did not get the celebration products, if you did, if there's something you are missing, I do have a lot of them all. Let's just see here. I'll just go through this quick. What do I have for sale? I think this is the old stuff. Oh, yeah, this is the old stamps. What do I have? To a Wild Rose. I just found the dies for that. Silhouette Scenes. Hosted for You. Memorable Mosaic. Uh, perfectly Framed. I did like that one. I really like that. I think it's brand new. Um, Lovely Lattice. Happiness Surrounds. Um, this was one of my favorites. Look at these guys. The little happy monsters. Anyway, I don't know if I posted those in that group or not. And then for celebration stuff, I have everything of the celebration that just ended. Right? Like the hello friend with the paper. I still have one peaceful deer left over. A package of beautifully penned paper left over. I have the daffodil paper. I have special moments. I think I've got everything. And I did post it in albums in that other Facebook group if you're looking, looking for stuff. Right, and then, oh yeah, I found this, right? The, I love these little mini punches. I actually kept them because I was doing kids' classes, and kids love that. It's good for their little hands when they can use little baby punches, right? Cutest Halloween, create with friends, best year, banner year, Daisy Lane and the large Daisy Punch. Enjoy the moment. Joyful life. I love the pig with the cappuccino cup. Piece of cake. Uh, what else did I have? I think um, macrame embossing folder. Right? That's a good one. Um, da -da -da. What else did I have in here? Oh, yeah. All squared away. Bundle. Beauty of tomorrow. Birds and branches. Blossoms in Bloom, Bright Baubles. Did you ever get that one? Oh, I might have to take that back. I don't know if I can part with that one. My friend Nancy made the most beautiful Christmas cards with them. And then two, oh yeah, Gorgeous Leaves. What do I have? Hand Drawn. Hippo Happiness. See the little hippo? And then Love of Leaves. And I've got a whole bunch more. Whole bunch more. It's kind of crazy what I got still. Um, oh, this is my favorite. I have to show you one more thing. Many messages and many happenings. Who Did everybody get this? So this, this die, you kind of need the die with this set. Well, you don't need it, but it's like one giant stamp set. So when you put the die over this and run it through, it cuts out all these sentiments all at once. And I keep them in a bag so that they're ready to go. But they have nice sentiments, like just a card to say hello, happy anniversary. And then the companion set is many happenings. Love and hugs, friends forever. You know, super cute. Hello, Betty. How are you? And I think Elnora was on earlier. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice. Okay, and of course, I'll just show you these and then I'll put them back in the box. Ornate style, peace and joy, point set of petals, quite curvy, sparkle of the season. And I have more as well. So I will maybe jump on later today, possibly. Um, for sure, Tuesday. Join me Tuesday for the wrap up. Um, and the catalog kickoff. Monday, I'll probably jump on as well if I've got some 
fun thing to share. We'll see with the puppy how much time I have to stamp. But I want to thank you so much for watching today. Thank you, Liz. I hope you enjoyed the projects because I know you have a kit. Betty has a kit. If you have any questions about these products, just let me know. So have an amazing day. And if you have any questions, just give me a call too. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.